TV event coverage presented by SCT Performance. Well, we're all finished up here at Route 66 Dragway for the fifth annual NMCA NMRA Super Bowl of street legal drag racing. And on the NMCA side of things, man, what a weekend highlighted by all types of performances. Let's start with Pro Street. Bill Glidden, who actually had an accident a few weeks ago at an ADRL event, wound up coming here fresh out of the shop with the car, winds up qualifying for the show, going all the way to the finals with consistent runs. Pretty impressive for Mr. Glidden. But the race win actually went to Joe Dunn, who had amazing performances himself throughout the weekend. Also, in Pro Street, you can't say enough about Chris Rini's consistent performances. Run 618, run 619, run 620 the entire weekend long. Great action in Pro Street. It was less than a year ago at Charlotte where Mikey Edgarian just about totaled his car. He comes back here to Chicago, winds up winning the event, as well as being number one qualifier, low ET, and winds up beating Nick Scavo in the final with a 697 to 707. In Nostalgia Pro Street, Dave Beeson comes out again and runs a 724. Pretty impressive, two races in a row where the guy runs in the 720s, but yet Beeson did not win the event. The event win, once again, goes to Kevin Parent, who outlasted James Jarrett in the final with a 741 to 756. In Vortec Extreme Street, Bill Travato and Jamie Stanton faced off for another time this year in NMCA Extreme Street action, with Travato taking the win 806 to 841. And Travato ran a string of 8-0 passes all weekend long here on the service of Chicago. Fabulous weekend for Bill Travato. And in pro stock action, the Baskin train keeps on rolling. Two of Baskin-owned cars in the final again here at Route 66 Raceway with Skip Baskin and Greg Delaney facing off again in the final. It was Baskin beating Delaney 857 to an 859. In street radio, it was Brad Shear and his Mustang against Mike Fertina and his Camaro in the final here at Route 66 with Shear taking the 883 to 884 win. Speaking of the Baskin family, Don Baskin, last year's champion, wins another one in Mean Street as he takes out Jeremy Gillum in the final, 1023 to 1039. Interesting scenario in the final of Nostalgia Superstock as Russ Berenz beats Jeff Meese. Now Berenz broke on the start of the race and Meese had the race won, except he broke out, meaning he was disqualified when he ran under his index. In Nostalgia Muscle Car, defending class champion Andy Warren gets another win as he takes out Michael Slaverio. And in open con competition, the Buick of John Hickson puts out the Mustang of Patrick Northrup. And finally, in late model EFI, it's the Camaro over the Corvette, as Dave Hounschel defeats Edgar Perez, the class's number one qualifier. Perhaps one of the most incredible performances on this track this weekend was the race itself. Nearly 500 cars once again converged on Route 66 Dragway, making this the largest heads-up drag race of its kind in the country all year long. Impressive even more than that is the fact that we got done before dark for the first time in any of my memory. Hey, we'll see you in a couple weeks. Z-Max Dragway, right here on Street Legal TV.